it's a high-profile murder mystery that News Channel 3 has been following for years. But the Riverside County District Attorney's Office will not be prosecuting the case. News Channel 3 investigates. Now, from the desert's news leader, KESQ News Channel 3 HD at 6. Tonight, News Channel 3 is digging deeper, and we're asking tough questions about a very cold case of murder. Jimmy Hughes now faces three counts of murder for a crime that happened back in 1981 in Rancho Mirage. We first broke this story over the weekend. News Channel 3 has now learned the Riverside County District Attorney's Office will not be handling the case because D.A. Rob Pacheco is related to Hughes. News Channel 3's Nathan Baca is here now with new information. Nathan. John Tamer, Riverside County District Attorney Rob Pacheco's office says he is related to triple murder suspect Jimmy Hughes. Police arrested Hughes in Miami when a Riverside County Sheriff's detective boarded a plane just before takeoff to Honduras and arrested him in front of his wife and other passengers. This is triple murder suspect Jimmy Hughes. He is accused of murdering three people at this Ranch Mirage home on July 1st, 1981. This is his second cousin, Riverside County District Attorney Rod Pacheco. Because of this conflict of interest, the state attorney general's office will prosecute this case. News Channel 3 learned of the family connection between Hughes and Pacheco months ago. The district attorney's office did not answer questions about the conflict of interest as recently as Monday. Now it says the following. They are distant cousins who have not seen each other in over two decades. Documents obtained by News Channel 3 indicate that Jimmy Hughes was considered a suspect in the murders as far back as 28 years ago in late 1981. Now, Jimmy Hughes is still fighting his extradition in court. He'll likely be staying in a Miami jail on a no-bail warrant for the next few weeks. Now, this case is ongoing. We're continuing to gather developments, and uh, we'll bring more as uh, it happens. Now, as you've reported in the past, Jimmy Hughes was in Honduras, and that's where he kind of set up his life. Why was he still coming back to this country? It would seem like he knew that he might get in trouble if he did. He runs Jimmy Hughes Ministries, uh, and he runs that out of Honduras, but many times he would come to uh, Christian missionary groups either in Florida or also in California. So he had been making multiple trips to the United States many times. Ultimately, what happened is the U.S. Attorney, excuse me, the State Attorney General's Office issued a, a warrant for his arrest and uh, basically had a customs uh, department uh, warning. So whenever he bought his ticket to go back to Honduras from Miami, that's when the red flag happened. That's when it was alerted to Riverside County Sheriff's Department that, hey, he's here, go get him. So he didn't know it, but there was pretty much no way he was getting on an airplane again going out of the country. That's right. Okay. All right. Hmm. Thank, Thank you, Nathan. You, Nathan.